I've got quite a few portable power stations that I use for charging my drone, RC gear and camera batteries when I'm out and about. And I was intrigued when All Powers reached out to see if I wanted to have a look at this S300 288 watt hour solar generator kit. Because this has got a few features that I haven't seen at this price point. And this whole package, including a 100 watt portable solar panel, is just £199 with a two year warranty. And that does seem like a great deal. Let's have a closer look. Hello, and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. Now the first thing that struck me about this S300 is the size and the weight. For a 288 watt hour power station this is surprisingly compact compared to the others that I've used. And it's all very nicely screwed together and feels well made and good quality. And this is the latest V2 version. And the bottom half of this case is packed full of lithium ion cells and the whole thing weighs just under three and a half kilograms. On the front there's a couple of AC power outlets and I'm in the UK so these are 220 volts 50 hertz and these provide 300 watts of continuous power with a surge rating of 500 watts. There's an LCD display that shows the state of charge of the batteries. Let me turn it on so you can see it and it also shows you how much power is being delivered and the charge power and along with the charge percentage shown down there with the graphic there's a countdown timer that shows the charge time remaining and this was the first feature I noticed that I hadn't seen on other power stations so at the moment it says this will just sit here for 81 hours and 53 minutes before it's empty now displaying the remaining charge as a percentage like this is normal but having a countdown timer that shows the estimated hours and minutes remaining is just so much more intuitive and useful. So if you plug a big load in here the remaining time will be less than if you're just charging your phone. And because it's a timer you can see how fast this is discharging depending on whatever load you've got plugged in. Three buttons along the front that turn on DC, AC and Bluetooth and that's the second feature about this I really like. All Powers have a free app that talks to this and mimics all the information on the front panel including the remaining charge countdown timer and it allows you to control all these functions but more about that a little bit later on. On this side we've got three USB A ports that support standard QC2 and three charging protocols so that's pretty much 5 volts at 3 amps, 9 volts at 2 amps and 12 volts at 1.5 amps and over here is a bi-directional USB-C PD charge port. That simply means that you can use it as an input to charge this up if you've got a suitable charger or you can use this as an output to charge things up or power things and as an output this will deliver 100 watts. And over here there's a couple of 12 volt 5 amp DC outputs using what's now a pretty standard 5525 size barrel connector. And over here this is the input side there's this input here that takes the supplied charging brick is 60 watts, just plug straight in there. There's also a cigarette lighter so you can charge this up from your car and there's also this Anderson connector so you can plug in solar panels and that gives you so many different ways to keep this charged up. And like I said the power supply is 12 volts and 60 watts and mine arrived with no charge in it. 
and they didn't actually say that in the instructions. And it took about five hours to get fully charged with this plugged in. There's also a couple of useful and very bright LED camping lights here. And I'll turn them on. And, whoa, they're super bright. Probably freak the camera out. Very useful when you're out and about. And lastly, on the top here, there is a 5 volt, 1 amp wireless charge pad for charging your phones, tablets and earbuds. Now, this S300 solves a really irritating problem that I have with a lot of other power stations that I've used. These AC power outlets are at the top of the case, which is great because it means when you try and plug in something like this MacBook power supply, there's plenty of room underneath for the charger body. I find many of these other power stations have the power outlets along the bottom, which only works if you put the charger on its back. There's basically no room for the charger body. Now, I know this is a really trivial thing, but the S300 solves this and it just makes me feel very happy. It's all well and good, this looks great and it looks well put together, but does it deliver what it's supposed to? Let's have a look. At the moment the display is showing there's 106 hours and 42 minutes remaining on here, so the battery is going to run out in 106 hours, whatever that is in days, it's quite a long time. Let's check out the AC first. You have to long press the AC button. And now because this is using power to power the inverter inside, we've only got 38 hours remaining. You can hear that the fans come on, there's a breeze coming out the side here. Let's plug my power meter in, bring that down so that you can see it. And uh, let's have a look, we are on 220 volts, 50 hertz, which is fine. So let's switch this back to a power rating. And I'm going to plug something in fairly hefty duty, I've got a heat gun here, turned it down to its minimum to start off with. Plug that in, turn this on, sorry about the noise. Put that over there. Let's get this to a fairly standard setting. So this is saying it's drawing 188 watts and the display down here is saying 100 and just over 190. So uh, yeah, it's about right. What happens if I turn this up slowly? Will it actually trip out? Going up, going up. Oh, it's chopped out. I'd actually turned it too quick. <laughs> but it does actually trip, which is what it should do if it tries to deliver more power than it can actually deliver. And the only way to Oops, the only way to get this back on again is to start it up. It turns it off completely. Right, so we know the AC works and it looks to be about right in terms of what it's saying it's delivering and it cuts out. I'm not going to do a temperature test or anything like that. These are sort of like real world tests just to see that it delivers what it's supposed to. So we've used up some of the battery, mucking about with that. So now, just sitting here idle, it's uh, 105 hours. So we can try these LED lights. They are pretty bright, as you can see. And you probably freaked the camera out, but this percentage went down. So it's not percentage, time went down. Can't even see it. The lights are so bright in my eyes. But those are really useful if you're camping. and. Let's see if I can just tell you what. So with both these lights on, it says it's going to stay there for 32 hours. It's not bad. Let's see what happens with the AC, sorry, the DC. 
turn that on. You don't need to long press that, you can just single press it. The remaining time goes down a little bit. So let's try and charge some things up and see what it actually does. So I've got a few bits and pieces here. So I've got my USB-A meter, which I'll plug in there. And let's see what that says. It's So that's five volts, fantastic. So let's just try charging up this battery. So it says now that the remaining time is, was that 51 hours? Yeah, 51 hours. And down here we can see that it's delivering just under 5 volts and 300 milliamps. But there we go. Tell you what, let's just try that with the USB C output rather than USB A. In there, got my little USB C power connector, and that says the same thing it's about 5 volts and 300 milliamps. Let's try something a bit more heavy duty. So, this is another power pack, but I know that this will quick charge, so we should get a higher voltage on here. Let's see if that works correctly. Plug that in there. So, yeah, so this little symbol on here tells me that this is quick charging, and lo and behold, the voltage has gone up to 9 volts and it's charging at what's that? 1.86 amps. So, this is a PD charge outlet. So it actually seems to be pretty good. So let's show you how the app works, which is actually pretty good. So let's turn on the Bluetooth. You have to press and hold. I've already paired these previously to check it works. And this is the free app you can download from All Powers. Let's just... There we are, it's recognised it. It's the S300. If I connect... There we go. So. This is saying there's 91 hours, 46 minutes. 46, yeah, 46. And this is showing 91 hours, 46 as well, which is three days and 19 hours. And then you can use the buttons on here, sorry, it's dimming out, to turn things on. Turn the LEDs on if we like. Whoop, like that. We can turn the DC on, like that. And we can turn on the AC. And you can see here that the remaining time is showing. It goes up and down because obviously the inverter's on at the moment. And there's a nice little bar graph along there. So it's really convenient being able to leave this on a shelf or something and just check what the current status is with the phone. Very neat. The package that All Powers sent me includes this 100 watt portable polycrystalline silicon solar panel. And this is quite neat. There's a nice little pouch on the back here that's got the cables in. There's a couple of MC4 connectors and you can't connect those the wrong way around because they're keyed. And on this end, there's a nice little Anderson connector. But you also get, again, MC4 connectors with a DC barrel connector at this end plus some adapters. So this will plug into pretty much anything. And you simply unfold this like that. Make sure I get this the right way up. There's a couple of these Velcroed straps on the back, the little legs rather, not straps. Get that in the right position and then you simply plug this into the side of the S300. There we go. And I can see that that is charging at around about 43 watts, which I think is pretty reasonable given that the sun is so low in the sky.
The spec says that this will take around five hours to charge in good sunlight. Now, I'm in the UK, we're in November. The sun is pretty low in the sky, so I'm not expecting it to charge up that quickly. Now, I've been using this for a few weeks as my daily portable power station for charging drone and camera batteries, RC gear, phones and tablets and so on. And it's such a neat design and compact size, I just leave it around the house. So when friends and family are visiting, they can charge up their phones and computers and anything else that needs power. There's a few things I'd like to see improved that would make this perfect. The handle has got this plastic strip, this orange plastic strip, underneath the handle to make it comfortable to carry, which works, but it makes it quite hard to unfold. <coughs> there we go, bit irritating. The display isn't that bright and it can be a bit hard to read in bright sunlight. And the lettering on these buttons can be a bit difficult to see when there's not so much light. They are backlit when they're on, but when they're off, it's a bit hard to see them and it can't quite tell which button is which. You will get used to it. But these are trivial in reality and I really like the compact size and features, particularly the remaining charge countdown timer and the Bluetooth wireless functionality and the app that goes with it. And there's just so many ways that you can recharge this. You can use the included 60 watt AC adapter, a USB-C PD 60 watt charger, or use the AC adapter and the USB-C charger together for a fast charge that only takes about two hours for this to get to 80%, which is pretty impressive. You can also fully recharge the S300 using the portable solar panel or just using your car cigarette lighter. So whether you're in the comfort of your own home immersed in the great outdoors during some fantastic camping adventure or you're cruising on a road trip, it's really easy to keep this fully charged. And this package is on sale at the moment for £199 and that includes the S300 and the 100 watt portable solar panel, which is great value for money. And if you want the S300 on its own, it's £129. And I've put affiliate links in the description below so you can check out the latest prices and availability. And if you buy using those links, I get a small cut that helps support the channel and you still get the same great price and the warranty. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more stuff like this and my other various Whirly Bloke projects. And if you are already subscribed, thanks loads and give us a thumbs up if you found it useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.